Good morning, dear parents, students, teachers, and all other stakeholders. It's a great pleasure to start the month of December with the celebrations of National Day. UAE is celebrating the year of the 50th or the 50 years of the Union. And I think it is a young nation with giant strides. India also is celebrating the 75 years of Azadi Ki Amrut Mahotsav. And it is a great honor that UAE is celebrating Golden Jubilee as well as India is celebrating the 75 years of Indians. And we know that both the countries have very strong bonding in terms of bilateral relations, diplomatic ties, and a lot of exchange that happens across. So let me wish you all a very happy Golden Jubilee year of the National Day. Well, recently we all know that the school conducted sports meet for the kindergarten section. It was a great crowd to witness and they cheered all of our little ones. So during the conversations, one of the parents asked me, so should we have these type of sports meet during this pandemic? And you're also planning for a winter camp again. Should you have this? Well, I say that yes, being a sports person, I would always love my students play always. And I always instruct my PE team and the academic teachers that never ever compromise on the PE period. If you are lacking some content or the curriculum is behind, please never utilize the PE period. Children have to play. Now many ask me why is it required? Of course, sports and with sports, we train our students to learn to be disciplined. We train our students to take care of their body as well as the mind. Through sports, we train our students to learn in teams, to learn to work with others and to be a good teammate because any team game can never be played by a single individual. There is a lot of coordination that happens within the team. One passes the ball, one kicks the ball, one shoots a goal. There is a lot of coordination. There is a lot of language which is unspoken during any game. And with sports, I'm sure we train our students to learn to deal with disappointment. Very often we expect to win and we lose the match or we are disappointed. We don't get what we expected. But sports always teaches us that we need to work harder to reach our goals. We need to strive day in and out to reach our goal. So that is how sports teaches disappointment as well as resilience and to come up in life to aspire that what we expect. We also train our students through sports how to achieve the goals. They have to work hard. They have to understand that it takes hours of practice and days of dedication and months of perseverance to excel in any sport. And that is the life's lesson through sports. So, in short, sports teaches us that success does not come overnight. It needs a lot of perseverance, resilience and a constant follow-up. Through sports, we also train our students the opportunity to make lifelong friendships. And I'm certain that all of us who played sports in our schools and colleges still maintain those friendships. So that also keeps the relationships alive. And through sports and these events, we also train our students to be on the field always, not getting glued to the technology or the gadgets. So that's another way of keeping our students engaged to develop their motor, fine motor, gross motor skills. So in short, 
What I would prefer to say and communicate is that sports, games and lot of activities that happen in school always teach our students and train our students to be responsible, to be humble, to be dedicated, to maintain friendships, to have relationships that are long lasting and to build and live a coexisting community. So pluralism of the world is built and inculcated through sports. Well, having said all of this about sports, I also would like to share with you the December being the month of celebrations across the world. I think all of our students need definitely that human touch in our celebrations, in our culture, in our tradition. And if I can quote Colin Powell, who says that all children need a laptop, not a computer, but a human laptop. The moms, dads, grannies, grandpas, aunts, uncles, someone to hold them in the lap, someone who can read to them, teach them, someone who will embrace them and pass on the experience, the heritage, the rituals and the knowledge of hundreds of years that has been gained through the generations. I think all our moms, dads and our family members should pass on to the next generation the expectations of them, their hopes and their dreams. And thus, every child will be motivated, encouraged and also will be strong in the culture and tradition. So as we come to the end of 2021, I think we need to make our student to be strong and very amicable human beings. Well, let's prepare them for the mind through studies. Let's prepare them physically through sports. Let's also prepare them through the generations of knowledge and experience that caters to their hearts.